Chapter 9. Special Constructions. Trust Maker. Step 1. Creating a truss from rolled steel profiles. In the following exercise, you will construct the trusses supporting the load of the terrace roof. Activate the 9.1 point creating truss preset view in the navigator, or open the S02 building section. The 2D framework of the truss appears on the screen. Observe that the roof edge doesn't fit to the edge of the truss, so you need to modify it. In order to do so, select the roof and open its settings dialog box. Change the edge of the roof to perpendicular in the model tab page. Return to the section view. Select the axis lines of the truss and select the design, design extras, truss maker, create truss command. The truss maker settings dialog box appears on the screen. You can select a construction type by clicking one of the following buttons on the left side. Timber construction, hollow section, or rolled steel profile. In this case, select the rolled steel profile option and activate the attributes tab page. Select metal stainless steel as the material and structural bearing as the layer. You can set the elevation value of the object to the current story or to the project origin. You don't need to deal with these controls at this moment. You will adjust the height of the truss later in the 3D window. Switch on the Truss Profiles tab page. This will let you assign profiles and parameters to each element of the truss. To select a part of the structure, Click its pen color icon or its outline in the truss preview. The thick outline in the preview and a black diamond next to the pen color indicate which part of the truss you are working on. Click the violet colored icon and modify the form of the profile in the pop-up menu as shown. Set the value of the width to 0 0.30, the height to 0 0.70, and the thickness to 0 0.01. Select the red pen color and set the parameters as shown. Activate the orange colored axis lines and input 0 0.10 for the width diameter. Modify the value of the height resolution to 36. Open the Steel Junctions tab page. This is available for the rolled steel profile construction type only. These controls allow you to use customizable junction plates at the points where the truss elements meet. Click the Width Junction Plates radio button and set the parameters following the instruction in the movie. When you've finished the design of your truss, click the Save As button at the bottom right of the dialog box. Enter Post-Tensioned Truss as the name and save the object to the advanced modeling library. An alert will be displayed informing you that a new truss object has been created on the floor plan. The truss is placed on the same line as the section line. Go to the floor plan view. Observe that the truss has been added to the project. Select the placed element and reposition it to the D structural grid line as shown. Return to the section view. Select the truss and move it as the contour lines overlap the 2D framework of the element. Open the 3D window. Decrease the height of the columns at D1, E1, and F1 grid intersection points as they correspond to the altitude of the nearby column. To do so, make sure that Suspend Groups is active on the standard toolbar. Select the first column and click on the top hotspot. Select the Stretch Height option and adjust the height of the element as shown.
Now, select the truss element and activate the Multiply command. In the appearing dialog box, set the number of copies to 2 and verify that the increment option is selected. Also make sure that vertical displacement is off. Slide the elements by 5.0 meters along the first structural grid line. Use the centers of two neighboring columns as reference points as shown. Return to the floor plan and rotate the truss at the bottom of the screen. Select the intersection point of the F and 3 grid intersection lines as the center of rotation.